And that's the moment that you realise that Will Schuster only cares about himself and shaking his bum for underage children. And that's what you missed on Glee. Another day, another video. Before you ask, these cushions are from Red Bubble, and this cushion is from Mean Girls on Broadway. Hi, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. Yes, I'm uploading another video. I have lots of free time. So for my last video, I watched a Harry Potter musical, which is a Star Kid musical with Darren Chris in it, and I was like, do you know what? I love Darren Chris, and I decided to talk about. Hungry because I've not done that in a while and it's probably the thing that I get asked about most on my channel like please do another Glee video so a while ago somebody asked me to talk about Glee couples and I was like that sounds so boring but alas here I am I actually think it might be interesting I don't know maybe so I've decided that I'm going to be Amy the lovemaker today what <laughs> that's all right I've decided to be Amy the love guru today so I'm here to discuss the glee couples what I think about them did they match well together more thoughts basically this morning when I was waiting for my hair to dry I just lay on my couch in a towel for like an hour trying to think of all the glee couples I could so these aren't all of them but this is a good old chunk of them I left some out because maybe I'll do a second video if you're interested okay I'm gonna jump in right so we're gonna start with probably my favorite glee couple which is Kurt and Blaine Kurt and Blaine have probably always been my favorite door Blaine he is my favorite glee character I would say and therefore I love Kurt now Kurt I don't know. The reason I never liked Kurt was because A, he got to kiss Darren Chris, and B, he was always going after Rachel, and I thought Rachel was the bee's knees. So, yeah. But I still love them together. I think they were probably the best fit out of all the couples in my head. That's what I think. It made me sad when they went to New York and they were like fighting all the time. It made me sad because Blaine was the one who was like a bit more needy and I don't know, I always thought that Kurt was the more kind of that way inclined. Right, I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen <laughs> The end of Glee. I know, I know, I'm a fake fan. I'm a fake fan. I've never watched the final episode. Maybe I'll do a video reacting to it. I do know that- Spoiler alert, this is a spoiler alert. I do know that Rachel and Jesse end up together and I think Kurt and Blaine do, I don't know. But I hope that they ended up together and I hope that they're still well today and I hope that they live in a cute little apartment in Upper Manhattan and they are both on Broadway. Okay. Finn and Quinn. So probably like the first Glee couple that you like see, I suppose. I suppose they're like the OG couple, aren't they? Other than Will and Terry. But anyway, yeah, Finn and Quinn. On the surface, I feel like they were good together, but really, well, I suppose they were both a bit wet in my mind. Obviously on paper, they look like they should have been great together, but I was never really feeling it. Yeah, Finn and Quinn, a bit of a meh couple for me. I was glad that it ended. Okay, Mr. Shu and Emma. Now, I just never saw it, I'll be honest. I don't feel like they were a great fit for each other. I personally think that when Emma got with the dentist, that was the best for Emma. I feel like she really needed that in her life. He made her so much better, like he made her OCD less severe. He made her like enjoy life a little bit more. He really listened to like her interests, like when they went to Rocky Horror and stuff. And I don't know, I just think that they were a really great couple. And I was really sad that she ended up with Will. I always kind of hated Will, so. I suppose I'm like, oh, because I really liked Emma. I, I wasn't for that one. I wanted Emma to be with John Stamos. One time she met John Stamos on a plane and he told her she was pretty. So we're coming up to my second favorite Glee couple, which is Brittany and Santana. Obviously, we love a strong female relationship. There were times in their relationship when like, obviously Brittany was going off with Artie and stuff and like that really annoyed me because Brittany was just like, I don't know, she was so confused, wasn't she? It's like, this is why sex education and relationship education is so important in schools. Yeah, Brittany and Santana loved them. Very glad that they ended up together. Very happy about that. Ryder and Marley. Okay, so like, I loved Marley because I love Melissa and I think she's got a great voice and she's great. But I felt like both of them were not fully fleshed out characters. Like they had a lot of plot holes in their storylines and they very much clearly wanted to make them the new Rachel and Finn, but they weren't like, they just weren't fleshed out enough and I think the writing around them didn't kind of support their relationship and again on paper I feel like they would be like right together there was never any like excitement in the relationship it was very like meh and that's how I feel about them now like looking back it's a bit like meh also I didn't like Ryder so 
Also, now we know that we definitely don't like Ryder. Um, and if you're unsure about that, then Google his and Melissa's real life relationship. Rachel and Jesse. Now I do know, as I say, I do know that they ended up together. I don't know why I've never watched the last episode. I have this thing, it's like Twilight and The Hunger Games, for example. I read all the books, I loved them, but I never read the last chapter. I don't know why. I don't know if it's this weird thing in my brain that's like, no, if you don't read it, then it's not over. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I hate last episodes of things. The last episode of Friends makes me cry every time I watch it. This is just like a side note. I always have friends on in the background and and if the last episode comes on, I have to switch it off because it makes me cry. Maybe I have emotional attachment issues. Who knows? But yeah, anyway, I've never seen it, so... But I do know that Rachel and Jesse do get together, and I personally think that Rachel and Jesse were such a well-suited couple, and I do think it is right that they ended up together. I'm gonna lump Rachel and Finn in with this section as well, because obviously Rachel and Finn are the ones that everybody loves, and obviously their relationship was a really loving relationship, but I never really felt like they, like Rachel and Finn specifically, were quite right for each other. I don't know why. I think they were always just slightly mismatched in their values, in their interests. I think the values thing was the real thing that really fell off with Finn and Rachel. And obviously opposites can attract, and that is what happened with them, but I never felt like they were just that well meshed. Obviously I'm talking about Finn and Rachel and not Corey and Leah. Do you know what, it really annoyed me when after Finn died, Rachel going out with Brody, and it felt so wrong to me and I was so angry. I do think that when people lose a partner, they should be able to move on without judgment. People grieve in their own way and people have to move on in life as well. I, I don't think that just because someone's broken up that they should always spend their whole lives only thinking of that one love. You have to be able to heal and I do think that Rachel needed to move on at some point and I also just didn't like Brody. so. But <laughs> there's all to come back to. I do think that Rachel and Jesse were well suited together. I think that they were like a real like power couple and they supported each other. The thing is that Jesse was a bit of a dick, wasn't he? But I think they were well suited and I think it was a good ending that they got together. Okay, Artie and Tina. Right, so like Artie and Tina, no, never there for it. I just didn't vibe with it. I love Kevin McHale, but I just I just didn't like Artie. He was just like not one of my fave characters. I love his voice, but he was just so annoying, wasn't he? He was like so, so up himself and oh, I just wasn't a fan. And so I didn't think they were ever well suited and I was not vibing with it, not one for me. Okay, I, I was wrong when I said that Kurt and Blaine were my favorite couple because we've just come up to my favorite couple and it was Sue and Sue. Name a more iconic moment. I'm waiting. See, you couldn't. See? Yeah, I love Sue and Sue. They were so well suited together. So well suited together. <laughs> Woo! Jesus Christ, I need to go outside. Sue and Sue, I, you could even say that they're like one person. They were just a great pair. Okay, Will and Terry. Oh, do you know what, maybe, no they weren't well suited because they were both too self-centered because Terry was self-centered, but so was Will. Will Schuster was such a self-serving, horrible person. I hate Will Schuster. I'm sorry if I annoy anybody with this fact. He was always thinking about himself. The most self-serving moment was when Sue was like, I'm gonna cut the Glee Club, but I won't if you stop twerking. And he's like, no, I will not stop twerking. And that's the moment that you realize that Will Schuster only cares about himself and shaking his bum for underage children. I said what I meant and I meant what I said. And so yeah, Will Schuster, very self-centered. Terry Schuster also very self-centered. So maybe he did deserve it. Maybe that maybe that is the right way that they should have ended up. I kind of feel like Will should have ended up with April. I feel like that was really probably the most suited because she was a mess and so was he. What is this video? Okay, Quinn and Biff. Right, so when Chase Crawford came into Glee, it was like the Glee Gossip Girl crossover that I needed. So anyone who knows me very well knows that Gossip Girl is probably like my favorite TV show. It's definitely top five. I love it. I watch it all the time. So when Quinn got with Biff, I was like, yes! 
However, on the surface, I feel like they were quite well suited. I still don't think it was Quinn's best relationship. And also, I loved Quinn. You know when Quinn went emo? When she had pink hair? I thought she looked great. And I really would have liked to have seen that be developed a little bit more. And her go out with like a bit of a rocker or something. I don't know. So, yeah. I quite liked Quinn and Biff though. I love that his name's Biff and they were a beautiful couple, so, you know, I was kind of there for it. Okay, so I've come up to the perfect relationship for Artie, and that was when Artie um, was with Chlamydia. Because do you remember when Artie had Chlamydia and he dressed up as a big STI? That was a wonderful moment, and what he deserved. Why do I hate Artie so much? I'm so mean. I just hate how, like, big-headed he was. And I just think he made bad decisions. Okay, so I've come up to my favorite Quinn couple. It was Quinn and Sam. I really wish that they'd stayed together and I think that that was definitely Quinn's best couple in. And Sam was like such a nice guy, wasn't he? And he was so supportive of Quinn and just like a generally all around nice guy. And I feel like he kind of like grounded Quinn a little bit as well. He made Quinn a bit more of like a fun person rather than like being a bit of a, a, bit of a buzzkill. I liked Quinn and Sam. Anyway, that is <laughs> my Glee relationship opinions. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end if you did. Please do subscribe if you like Glee, musicals, anything like that. That is what I do on my channel. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you want another video like this or if you want more Glee videos. If I should react to watch in the final episode. We shall see. Anyway, please do keep well. Please do stay safe. Stay indoors. Stay two meters away from everybody. And I will see you soon. I love you lots. Bye.